generic greetings and welcome back to Railway Empire where in the previous episode we were messing around with warehouses and we got a couple of those up and running. We also play some more track although that's sort of par for the course with this game it's generally what you do and uh, naturally we retract Wrexham because we do that every episode. So in this one we want to keep progressing towards our task list. You can see we've got produced 60 loads of tweed we're currently on 36.80 units we've also now received a station master I'll have a look at those in a moment and we need to connect London and Liverpool but since we don't have access to that part of the country that's quite difficult so we need to focus on probably just making some more money apparently a grain farm near Inverness wants to be bought well since I'm not even allowed in the country yet I don't think that's going to happen anyway so we're going to go back here and um we're going to see if we can grow some more cities. Currently, Liverpool and Manchester, as well as Nottingham, are growing. However, Hull, Wrexham and Leeds are not. And I think the majority of it is down to them not having the fulfilment of demand, which goes back to the fishy subject. And yes, they require fishy goods, and we can't get fishy goods from there because we, we, we own the Murphy Sea Farm. But actually, what I'm going to do as well, this um, Fletcher's cat, I'm going to see if I can buy that. Um, can I buy that? Um, buy out, and yeah, I will put a bid on that and um, start to purchase it. Uh, yes, yeah, so the Murphy Sea Farm, the fish comes down here and goes to Liverpool and Manchester. If we open up the train list, we can see we've got two of these here. Um, if we open up this, we can see um, where they're going from. Uh, so hang on, that's wrong. That's... Uh Moor Farm Wrexham, that's the wrong thing then. Uh, down to the Murphy Sea Farm, where is it? Murphy Sea Farm, Liverpool, there we go. So if we open up that, we can see it goes from the Sea Farm to Liverpool to Manchester and back. And we have two of those trains set up to do just that. However, we can't go over to Leeds because the um, incoming and outgoing are different over here. As you can see, if I close all this down so you actually get some sort of screen real estate, um, we have <laughs> these coming in on the top there. However, the outgoing to Leeds is um, there, so we'd have to retrack that so it probably comes um, onto this section, but then that, that's a whole extra task. Uh, apparently, Midland Dynamic is best uh, career. Manchester uh, pl plays uh, as punch. Okay, is Manchester grown bigger? Um, it's uh, getting close to city level 5, which is uh, 90,000, so that's really, really good. Anyway, uh, let me just check the station master here. Um, uh, we already have a station master, actually, which um, does the exact same thing. Oh, no, a station master draws up rules for maintenance processes and reduces maintenance time by 5%. Um, they're the same, so there's no point in hiring anyone else. So from here, it is possible that we can get um, the fishy goods through Liverpool, but it will mean not an extensive overhaul but some overhaul in and around here um, but then even so we can get it to Wrexham but from Wrexham it's not possible to get it any further because the incoming line is on the top here however if we want to change it to continue going it would have to come out off that track and then on to uh, that track so it's just not going to happen so at minimum what we'll do is we will go to delete and we want to retrack this so we can at least get some fish down to Wrexham. Um, and I think that would be a decent thing to try. So in order to do that, I will delete that section of track there. I will also put in a section of track there and then delete that one. I'm going to delete um, that signal and then this cross hatching here. And the reason for that is I want to then have a track construction go like so and that will allow us to go from um, one line to the next and then we'll do that and then crisscross it like so and then from here we will go um, probably to there and then connect up to that and then from here we'll go down and connect up to well that would be sufficient and then we need to focus on signals which means that is one way that is normal and that is normal and that should technically be everything back to the way it was but but the big change here is we can set up a rail line, go for the Murphy Sea Farm to Liverpool, to Wrexham, and then back if we want to. Now, the question is, um, do we have enough pork products going to Liverpool? I will check. If we go over to Liverpool, we can see that it says ham for export, none. It is receiving 2.4 pigs, but where from? Um, apparently, a conductor is now available as well. Uh, from where are the pigs coming from? Um, hang on. Nothing there. Pigs. Weekly demand all cities, weekly production businesses. I don't know where it's coming from. 
Hmm. I thought we had. Pretty sure we have a train coming from there and back and forward. So there's probably no need to do what I was thinking of doing, which is going from there to there to there, and then there and then come back, because that's just going to um, make it a bit more chaotic. But we might as well have it stop at Liverpool. We'll have it as uh, freight only, and we will add a locomotive of... Um, and generally, we're going for the Jervis there, and we'll, we'll buy that. We will hire a security guard. Um, we'll go for... Well, there's a moody security guard there, but I guess we'll hire those. And for the conductor... We do have Carefree and... Oh, that's okay. Carefree, they shouldn't care about a moody person then. Um, that's transportation of mail, though. And that's mail again. There's no point because this is not going to carry... Or it can carry mail, technically, I guess. But we're not going to um, get any more on there. But that now means we've got some... Um, from the Murphy Sea Farm, we have the uh, the train going through Liverpool and to Wrexham. Liverpool being, I think it is our bus busiest station there. In terms of personnel, we do have a... Buy and we'll send send them to um, send them to Doc Murphy. Uh, no, actually Beatrix. Why not? And there we go. Hopefully, we will get some more uh, technology. Speaking of that, we can have a quick look at our research here. We've got 94 research points, and the next thing we can unlock is the G and M American four four zero two drive axles. Then yeah, oh yeah, I, I can see that. Um, we can also go for things like a mail car. Um, this rail car functions like a mobile post office and increases the freight revenue for mail by 20%. That's good. There's a market crier there. I don't think they really have much for us. Um, promotes possibility to train uh, and increases mail or passenger volume by 50%. Oh, we'll do that and we'll focus on uh, comfort, which increases... Um, passenger volumes so there we go right so they're growing that's fine uh, what I'm gonna do is basically start buying out businesses because good grief that's an expensive business uh, you know what I'll do then I think it was this business if we're spending that amount of money we'll spend probably uh, a good cool nearly uh, nearly two million on buying the brewery in Manchester because um, the brewery is fairly good at making cash because uh, people like a beverage now and again by the way today's beverage is non-alcoholic but um it's um mango juice drink uh, so research we now have some points we have 106 points let's go over to company and construction we've got nothing we can do there but we can sell our personal office uh, increases the number of new applicants by 20 percent uh, excluding underworld so there's no point in that one for us then um i think what's this Increase the number of passengers in every city. No, I think we're going to wait for things like um, accelerate maintenance by 20%, something like that. There's a reporter. Um, okay, a reporter. Writes a critical newspaper article about your competitors and reduces uh, their their um, passengers. So we're not going to do that. We will, however, go over to Manchester and the brewery and we will buy that industry. And uh, it's actually went down, which is pretty good. Um, and that should be us winning that fairly easily because well nobody else bids so yeah general rule of thumb isn't it and uh, we now own that business this is almost up to the top level now which is good um so i've recently acquired that industry and a production side has been reduced because maximum stock's been achieved yes i'm aware of that and um, the meat industry here same thing uh, we will put a cheeky bid on that one because why not um i believe uh oh, did, did we just use a an auctioneer i think it was um and auction's over. Yep, so now on that industry there. And we also have the timber industry. Uh, apparently the meat industry in Dundee. Again, uh, no, I have no interest in purchasing that. However, I do have an interest in uh, buying this sawmill out, which, um, no, it's only a cheeky, it's only a cheeky quarter of a million. Have a drink, forget about it if it all goes wrong, you know. Um, don't think there's much in Leeds. Well, we can actually buy that out as well. Um, I'm doing the whole uh, buying industry thing. Uh, just get as much industry in the towns as we can. Uh, what's that there? No suitable freight for this to transport. Ah, because it's probably, they're probably maxed out there. Would also really, really like uh, that industry, but it's a million. But we do have a million, so we might as well start that. And there we go. Um, we should also focus on, I guess, upgrading some of our trains, since uh, some of the engines on them are um, not great, to say the least. Um, but anyway, what about this one here? That is... Oh, that's really uh, cheap, that farm, so we might as well. 
And in Nottingham, we've got that industry, which we could also buy out, which is uh, fairly cheap as well for us. So we're buying a lot of industry. Um, that's just all starting starting up there. How are we doing for our tasks? Uh, we're on... Oh, we're almost on the... Um, we're almost on the 60 units of tweed that we require, which is excellent. Um, in terms of trains then let's have a quick look at our engine shed so we want to go over to the john bull so the john bull the workhorse that we had um right at the start of the game but it's a bit long in the tooth these days so we can say replace that locomotive with um replace the where is it the what could we replace it with hang on what's that available engineer no okay Liverpool keeps on growing. Uh, Midland Dynamic is the key hauler. And um, S Midland Dynamic uh, is darling of the stock exchange. Value reaches 18 million. Um, apparently they want me to buy the Morgan Preserve near Hull. Yes, I will. I will purchase that. Why not? Why not indeed? Um, so it looks like Manchester has almost got there. But Liverpool, I believe, has. So there's now a new industry that we can buy there if we wanted to. So we can actually build... Uh, an industry there, and I don't know what industry we would get. I'm looking down, is there like a fishery one? Mm, no, but what have we got around here that we're not utilising? Salt. If we can get some salt, um, what can we do? There's no industry that uses salt. Um, I don't know what else. Although, to be fair, it might now just require salt by default. A great part of the resistance we are facing seems to be caused by canal operators. Obviously, they are angry about the missed profits lost to our new lines. Do not be deterred. They are outdated. Keep going, and you will even convince the skeptics. Okay, so apparently canal operation is um, hindering uh, progress. Also, that little John Farm is, um, well... It was a cool 2.1 million for a second there, but it's currently going right down, and I'm not too sure why. Um, what we'll do is we'll check our new tasks here. So we need to transport a total of 800 freight cars, and that's going up quite fast, and connect London and Liverpool, which now have stars there, which means it is possible to connect. No, but we can go to uh, Northampton and Oxford, so that's okay. Um... Problem is Oxford and Northampton both are uh, wanting. Ah, they're actually wanting uh, meat from there, so that's fine. We could probably utilise that then. Okay, so we'll do that in um, but a moment. I want to just to see if this is available for purchase. No, it's gone back up to two million. It'll go up and down based on like the current workload. So I'm waiting for the workload to hit um, the deck. We've currently got a speedometer. Uh, increase the power of your locomotives. Yes. So now that we can tell the speed, we can actually go faster. Um, <laughs> Which is normally um, the opposite. You think you're going faster than you are. Um, right. Let's wait for that to finish, which it's now done. And then we'll see if we can put a cheeky bid on this. See if it drops down to there. That's fine. So it starts at um, 1.1 million. Um, and all of this is going to hopefully help us out. Um, also bought the business recently. Yes. So we do still have some engines. As we're digressing to right back at the start there. Um... We've got things like sort of some trains here that are really outdated. Um, bad example because that one is um, uh, Jervis. But we have some other ones. Derwent, Jervis, John Bull. Yeah, the John Bulls. Because they're like the very first ones I think we got. Well, what wasn't it? Uh, engine shed. Um, no, it's uh, the Rocket 2-2. Uh, Rocket 0-2-2. But the John Bull, there's a second one. But we want to move on from wood um, and go over to like... Probably like the Derwins or something. Um, or even the Firefly. What, they're suitably express, freight, express, mix. So we want to go for the Jervis then. So anything um, from any rockets, we'll say replace all locomotives and replace it with... Um, let me just double check. Was the rockets over to an Inverness? No, I'm not buying out a, a farm near Inverness. And we're going to put the everything to the Jervis. So we're going to go say for the rocket, we'll buy that. We'll say move it over to the uh, Jervis, and it's going to cost a ooh good grief. So replace. Ah, oh, hang on, wait. Minus.
Meet industry near Birmingham. Yeah, we'll buy that. Why not? I think I'm doing it the other way around. I think you need to go over to that. Place all locomotives. Hmm. Oh, the stalk is available. The John Bull. Which is mixed, so... Place all of the John Bulls with the Jervis. And that costs about a million, but we've upgraded a lot of trains. Okay, so we've got engineers. Uh, we've got uh, saboteurs. Not really our our thing. Um, so, close that down. Uh, we want to check some of these. I'll uh, put it to normal speed here, and we'll check that. Uh, that does have a... It does not have a security guard, so we'll hire a security guard because it is freight. There's a stalker there as well, so um, re increases reliability. And there we go. Oh, and also an engineer, so we could probably... Um, put an engineer on, um, which is reduces maintenance of them, and none of them uh, have any traits that are affecting each other, which is good. We now have double research points, so we can upgrade something to like a uh, increase the ticket prices by 10%, uh, accelerates train maintenance by 20%, increase the power of the locomotives by 5%. Oh, we've also got rel uh, retroactively lowers the cost of successful auctions by 10%. Um, okay. That's probably something I'll go for, actually, because we've been buying a lot of stuff out. Admittedly, most of it's been bought out now, but, um, well, things like this um, here, we can probably put a cheeky bid in. And then from there, we will now expand over to, um, I think, Peterborough. Can we go into Peterborough? We can't, but we can go to um, Oxford and Northampton. So, what we'll do then is have, from here, we'll have a... Probably a standard train station, which is just too uh, wide. Actually, you know what? We'll go for a large, because we know we're going to expand it eventually. Um, we need to focus on the direction of this. So I think that's right in the centre of Oxford. That should be fine. Um, from here, um, if this Birmingham line is going to come down to Oxford, we'll have this sort of set at a bit of a weird angle, really. Um, I don't want to set it at that angle, because I think what we're going to do is have the pigs coming down to Northampton and then over to Oxford and then back. So what we'll do is have it there. Um, ah. Ah, so I need to do Oxford first. I think it's because you can only have, like, you can't just go bang, 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 bang and place loads of stuff down. Right, okay, that's probably what it is. So from here then, we will come across and across there. Fairly level grade. Um... We will have to scoot past that meat industry there, but we will be able to spur off uh, later on down the line. Um, no pun intended. And then we'll just continue going along. And we're going to put some extra sections in just to make sure it's okay. Um, I could have these going left of Oxford on the left-hand side, and then the other one's got Northampton. That would make perfect sense, actually. So, you see, there's going to be some cuts in here. It's just the nature of the beast. We'll buy that, and then what we're going to do is basically just double track um, all the way. Like so. Cutting through this. Double bridging. And then finally into there. And the advantage is if we buy that, we can also um, connect... I don't think you can cross like that. Oh, you can cross like that. Right, okay. Um... Do we want to do that? Well, I don't think we're going to have any trains running f past Birmingham. So we might do that. Um, does it put the crossing in there? Yes, it does. And then maybe... Um, that, maybe? That's a shame. Why is it not doing that? See, that's... Um, oh, it's going a bit weird now. Uh, right. Something's happened. Uh, okay. Right, that's a bit weird. It's not allowing me to do the connections that I thought would be fine. Um, that's a shame. Okay. Um, I'll delete that then. See, it allows me to put it in there. Maybe if I do that, and then do... No, it's not going to happen regardless of what happens. Regardless of what we uh, try, it's not going to do that. Um, so, maybe it would be best to delete a section and then just have it go into there. Because I don't think there's anything else really going to move. So what I'll do, delete. I'll just say... Uh, um, I'll put a section of track in there and a section of track in there. 
I'll delete that and a section of track in there. It's really not putting it in it. There we go. We'll do that there. And then that to there. No. Other one first. That to there. And then that to there. Alright. And then we'll do our typical crisscross. We'll do it both sides while I'm in the track. Buildy mode. Which is the technical term for it, you understand. Track buildy mode. Um, and it doesn't really matter. Which is the incoming outgoing? Um, the, well, it might do because we might... Are we going to connect up to Northampton? We are, but probably from this side rather than coming along this way and going that way. Um, I think, then, we'll have the one-way system there. Um... And that one, like that. So there's our one-way system. We will put in our little stopping points as we move along. Um, I'll have to be careful with this one. I'll put a supply tower there. And, oh, uh, we want to get rid of that. Because I'll put it one way. And that should do. It's a fairly long line, and we probably won't have a lot of traffic on it in the first place. So, we've got a new train, a set up new line. We're going to go from Oxford to uh, Birmingham. We'll have that as automatic, but we are going to get probably a very fast train. We'll go for the Firefly, and we'll add a conductor on there, like so. And then we will clone that. We're also then going to make up a new line, uh, set up a new rail line, uh, once again from there to there. This is... Instead, however, going to be freight only, and hang on. Hang on. That's on the Firefly. Let me check. Um... Oxford Birmingham 1, Oxford Birmingham 2. Manage, automatic, save changes, close, right. Because I didn't create a new one. My mistake. There, there. Now it's freight only. And we'll add the gems. The security guard on it. There we go. Right, so that's the connection there. And now, um, if I put this connection in, it'll probably allow me to do it. So we'll go for a large train station. We will put it... Um, fairly angled like so and then we will build from probably the internal so coming along to say there and then just sort of cutting through the land uh, we'll probably go around the river that <laughs> probably gonna be better for us um, like so and then yeah we'll have to it's a big grade there you can't really see it, but there is a big hill um, and then we'll connect up that maybe direct would probably be better but no matter. And, um, hang on, it's really wanting to go across there. That'll be apparently the more efficient way. But that is now in. Signals once again. Um, or after we put the little uh, crossing points in. Which I'm still... Oh, why is it doing that? Huh. Well, that was me to build that way, so I'm not going to argue. I'm still not convinced are uh, strictly necessary when you, for, when you... If you're building like this with no... Uh, nothing going along the line. I don't think that's, there's much uh, need for it. Right, so we'll go that way. And that way. I don't think there is much call for... I'll put a supply to right in the corner there. I don't think there's much uh, to worry about when it comes to the floor, um, which way it is, although I'm sure I'll regret that saying that in but a moment. Uh, right, so this can be automatic, and we'll have it as the Firefly, and once again, we, I think we'll just, do we need to copy it? Do we need to? It's always best, I guess, um, and then we'll go for, um, freight, uh, not signals, trains from Northampton to Oxford, freight only, locomotive, Jervis, and Bosch. Right, okay, so that is now on the go, um, 
that is fine, I think. We also now want to set up a line that goes up to um, here, um, to this um, Emerson breeding. Stokes is now available, okay. Uh, I'm going to have a small train station, and I want to just connect this. I'll get this as low as possible, and it's just going to be, like I say, a feeder line for this. Now... I know this is where I will definitely regret what I mentioned earlier about the incoming and outgoing. Um, okay, the outgoing is the bottom, so that is fine, but we do need to connect it up to both anyway, so it doesn't much matter. So there to there to um, there, we'll just move that just so it's a little bit more organic. We'll buy that, and then we'll just sort of connect that up to there, and we'll put in a supply tower. We'll put in a signal um, there, and also while I'm on I will do not train list although that's something I do keep forgetting that you can click on any of your things here and say right train list I uh, will construct a maintenance building there because I think all of that is important I'm gonna double check uh, did I do Birmingham we will find out uh, demolish so that's fine right so there in uh, we will say new train rail line from there to there to there and there and back again uh, obviously freight only, and it will be the Jervis and Stalker, which is due to the likelihood of breakdowns. That's fine. A crafty Stalker as well. <laughs> Anna Garcia. There we go. And um, do we want to copy that or not? I think we're okay. Um, I should have done some insider trading and bought this before we started transferring some stuff, but we'll buy it out now. And we should be all right. In terms of task list, you can see it's um, transport 800 freight cars. We've already done 575. So that's really good. Um, we've also got a conductor there and a saboteur. I wonder if a conductor um, wants to go on board one of these. Um, so we'll say manage train conductor. Passengers pay more. Right, there we go. Cool. So there is um, bonus bonus for Express Line Nottingham Liverpool. Uh, Nottingham Liverpool. Right. I don't think there's I don't think there's a way for me to get an express train from Nottingham to Liverpool. Um. Or is there? No, there's not. No, there's not. And it comes down to this junction here, which is why we couldn't bring uh, the fish from there to there. Hmm. Being serviced. I was wondering what I was doing. Um, yes, it comes down once again to this. This horrible, clumpy mess. Because we need the bottom line of the Liverpool Manchester line to continue on over to Leeds which it does not because it's only the bottom that's feed, uh, fed and from Nottingham we could if we wanted to from here spur it off and go around into here that would work but then how would the return work um I guess the same thing it would be the same thing really um because you'd have to go from there and across which I think it did allow me for a second there. It did say no problem whatsoever. Um, no. I think because of the embankment, it's not going to happen. Yeah. I mean, there is another way, but it's it's hacky way of doing it. We come out the bottom of Nottingham round <laughs> through all of this and then in um, there that's no real way of doing it is it breweries near Middlesbrough um no because we, we don't have a uh, option to go to the northeast no we don't okay fine um so while we're still waiting for things i'm going to be buying like the um sheep breeding near hall uh we'll probably buy we bought all of that we don't have this um this which is the salt but i'm going to preemptively buy it because i think 
when uh, Liverpool goes higher or Manchester goes higher, we'll probably be able to do that. Actually, what is it? Um, fulfillment of land, 52%. So what do we need? Well, more fish is needed. Um, you know what I'll need then? I think because of the fish that's been transferred from the farm. Um, current workload, 100%. Expand business. I don't know if we need to expand the business because it's something I've not done in the game before. Um... I don't think we need to expand it much more. There we go. Um, I'll buy this uh, salt mine out as well, I think. Yeah, that was... Ah, oh, cement. Yeah, and that's the salt. Right. So we need more fish. More meat. And there is a need for tweed. <laughs> so Manchester... Um, what I'll do, I'll check that. Train list. Good grief, look at all that. So, that's milk. That's uh, wool for the tweed. That's Hull Manchester. What's that set to, though? The Jervis. Hull Manchester. Yeah, mail, mail, mail and goods, people, mail and people, mail and people. Um, okay. And then there's the Murphy Sea Farm. Then there's the warehouse. Oh, we do just we do generally have just uh, trains going back and forth from Manchester Liverpool to do tweed. Uh, what's this there? That's a paper mill. Um, blackmail. The company has received a blackmail letter. If you do not pay immediately, three hundred thousand. One of your vegetable companies will be sabotaged. Uh, I think I'll pay the money. To be honest. Never seen that one before. So, um, this is turning paper, uh, wood into paper. Well, we will buy that out because we are just the industry king here. Uh, we'll speed up to max speed and we're going to probably check. Um, that is producing as well, so we'll put a cheeky bid in on that. Uh, meet the industry near Oxford. Yep, that's us. The um, importance of the railway with reference to traffic of commodities can't be argued away. And finally... The way to London is clear. Okay, so the way to London is clear apparently because we have done uh, transport a total of 800 freight cars connect London and Liverpool. So, there's London and there is Oxford. It is simply a case of coming out here and working round to there. And that's what we'll do next episode. So, um, let's just double check that. That is connected up to there, which technically can't even go... <laughs> yeah, that can't even actually go to where we were, uh, where it's wanting to go. Um, it can't go London-Liverpool. It cannot do it. Okay. Unless we can do this. No. Sometimes you can, but often not. Hmm. Yeah, it's technically good. It technically might be connected by common stations, but not on the same line. But that might not affect things. We'll have to see um, how this one goes. No suitable freight. Hmm. I would have thought the will will have been with um, ham being produced. Ah, oh, because both produce ham, so of course there won't be. Ah, anyway, so um, we'll have a look at that next episode and we will connect up London um, and we'll see if we get that done. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed uh, this episode. We think we got a lot of lot of it done, actually. Uh, a lot more done than I thought. Got obviously an overhaul um, around here to get more fish. We got uh, the um, connection of Northampton, Oxford, Birmingham, as well as the uh, uh, Emerson Breeding um company here as well so not too bad at all anyway i will ooh, not buy the fraser estate because it is quite expensive i'll probably wait for that to go down a little bit <laughs> anyway as i said hope you have enjoyed the video thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings